Yo, what it is, it's your boy Jozo, and this video is about whether it's a good idea to marry Japanese women. And before I get into the video topic, quick announcement, I'm coming out with my new book, How to Date Japanese Women. It should be out by the 2nd of November, and it will teach you everything I know so that you when you go to japan or meet japanese women you don't miss out on the shine shine so stay tuned it should be coming out pretty soon and enjoy Yo! now i never claimed that i've been married to a japanese woman um but i did date a lot of girls i had a japanese girlfriend and I even cohabitated with my Japanese sugar mama. And I never really saw anything wrong with it. But I have had friends who have married Japanese women. And I'm gonna teach you what I have seen and what I've learned from my friends own experiences. I'm only gonna cover two friends. One of them had a terrible marriage and got divorced after 14 years. And the other is still going strong and seems to be living the perfect marriage life. Case number one. Let's start with the train wreck. Lamar. Lamar is a 45 year old guy who married his, his college sweetheart. Let's call her Yukino. Lamar was one of my friends. He, stationed in, he was stationed in Japan, Okinawa. And as I met him in Japan, he was currently going through divorce or separation and he was telling me all about his marriage and there's certain key things that i'm going to be pointing out that i want you to pay attention to should you consider wanting to marry a japanese woman so he met so he met yukino in college lama had a really bad habit of partying a lot and socializing and basically picking up girls and that's how he actually met his future wife Yukino, who was clearly an amajo. She was outspoken, direct, confrontational, and not very nice to people. Extremely westernized, basically. And you could refer to her as not a typical Japanese, especially since she studied in America. And there was this Tate Maya thing that she had which all japanese people have which in, in other words is a public face um where they appear to be perfect and a private place where they show their true selves and a lot of sims who don't do their research on japan a lot of people who are fascinated with japanese women in their cute image they fall for it they think this is real when in reality everybody is human everybody makes mistakes and so do japanese women unfortunately lamar did not realize who yakino was until he actually started dating her she had her ups and downs but he was too far in too deep in love to actually care enough and besides she was attracted to him so she never really subjected him to any of her attitude or crazy behavior he only saw her treat other people that way so he was good after college yukino had to go back to osaka but so lemon was so in love he decided to join the military and be stationed in japan okinawa and meeting him halfway yukino started to move in with him against the parents approval yukino continued dating him and ended up marrying him the reason why the parents were in against their marriage is for obvious reasons they were more older traditional japanese um, parents who are not aware of you know globalization and people actually starting to kind of like intermingling and interracially so they started dating uh, started dating in japan got married nine months after they were blessed with a beautiful child everything seems fine and well and J and keep in mind japan can become a lonely place while yukino has all her friends 
Lamar was a little bit lonely, so he continued and kept his habit of partying a lot and socializing and meeting a lot of people. Right? This did not seem to be a problem until a second child was born. That's when Yokino started hammering on him. Stop going out. Don't do this. Stay with us. Be a family man. But Lemoore just loved going out and partying. This habit was so strong because it never happened to be a problem. It always was a problem but Yukino never said anything. She just let it sit inside and boil up until I got the second child. But one specific night Lemoore went out and got involved with the police for drinking and driving. He almost lost his job as he was arrested for custody. The thing with Jap Japanese police is they target foreigners because technically Okinawa is colonized by America and they want to damage the American reputation so they eventually leave. So Lamar was arrested, almost lost his job, putting his family in extreme jeopardy and that was the final straw that broke the camel's back. Yokino prepared for her escape. She invited her mom to live with her for obvious reasons, for moral and mental support because she was getting ready for separation. And what she did was she caused a lot of fights and arguments with Lamar and convinced him that they should separate. She suggested that they should separate and made him believe that just by giving him a little bit of space that might eventually come back together. This was a trap because what they do is they want to incrementally distance themselves from you so that it is a lot easier from you to actually f to separate themselves from you. If they fight for divorce, the rebellion will be too strong, right? In Japan, a woman cannot divorce a man unless the man gives consent, right? So she strategized it. First, she got her parents her mom to live with her before and then she asked him to leave. Lamar obviously was compliant and got his own place. He still saw his kids on a regular basis, kept his job and kept paying Yokino for child support. Right? Um, eventually but Lamar noticed something about his son. His son kept on talking about his barber who was also black and called Mr. J. And Mr. J was pretty friendly for, with the family because he was the family barber, right? But he never thought anything of it. Hmm? Yukino was pressured and forced by her family and friends to actually divorce Lima. And what ended up happening is she she asked him to sign the papers and forced him to divorce him and which he kindly did because he loved her. He hoped that eventually he could get back together with her. That's at least what she told him. She made him believe that they could eventually get together with her once they get divorced. And stupidly Lamar, uh, Lamar signed the papers and agreed to the divorce. Little did he know that behind his back Yukino was seeing the barber, Mr. J, that the kids were always telling him about. This seemed to be a shock to Lamar, but he couldn't do anything. She had all the custody and decided to see, allow him to see the kids now and then, so she had him wrapped around her finger. This got Lamar so depressed that he kept on drinking every weekend, or every during the week. This again resulted in him getting another DUI and losing his job. So now he didn't have a spouse visa and he didn't have his work visa, which then forced him to be on a timer and leave Japan eventually. So he fought and fought and fought and fought to no avail. The woman has already mentally checked out of the relationship. She was abusive. She was mean. She was nasty because she had all the power. All the mean behavior that she subjected other people to, 
mom was now on the receiving end of receiving that terrible behavior. In other words, she became herself. Eventually, Lamar's visa ran out and he had to go back to the United States, starting his life from scratch and zero. Unfortunately, he lost the house, he lost his kids, he lost everything. So in this example, Lamar made a few mistakes. Even after the fact, he told me that when she met Yukino, all the friends were married, all the friends were together, and they seemed to be the only ones that were left out. So they decided to come together. So the relationship was already built on the wrong foundation. Lema never bothered learning Japanese. He never le bothered learning about the Japanese culture, but he just went for it. None of them were their first choice. So the relationship was already built on unsolid grounds. However, on the other hand, Yukino, on the other hand, was playing the Japanese tatemai, where she would never be honest with Lema, but let it all boil inside her until it was too late and she mentally checked out of the relationship and decided to leave him right and that's the problem with people who want to go into japan go to japan and marry japanese people because they think they say what they mean and mean what they say when in reality never japan the foreigners never bother learning about tatemai learning about what japanese people are like and learning how to adapt to their culture right and that's where Lamont went wrong he never looked at her how she really was how she treated other people and that she was in a, an amateur in the first place in my book i cover that you can't really wife up an amateur because they're not necessarily loyal the marriage the marriage vows only stay in good terms when hard times hit they don't last very long but at the same time Lamar did not show that he was prepared to be a family or quote unquote a salary man because he was from a different culture in, Jap in, in the US it's normal for guys to go out and party in Japan it may not be normal when you get married when you have kids you are meant to sacrifice yourself for the well-being of the family now contrast that with Gio, Giovanni, who is my friend, he's from the Dominican Republic. He went to Japan joining the military in Okinawa as well. He went sightseeing with her friends where he met a few Japanese guys who then eventually introduced him to other women, Japanese women. And from them and one of those women, his sister ended up becoming his wife. Right. But before they got married, his wife was never really into foreigners, never into Latin, Latino men. This suggests that she's a cultural girl because she's only into Japanese men and doesn't really go out her way to hunt for foreigners. But Giovanni stayed persistent and that's what eventually attracted her to him. Because she realized that he was the only guy that genuinely cared about her for two years he chased after her he, he made sure he improved his Japanese he learned about the Japanese culture and he managed to get the date on the date she fell for him and started dating right but not until she got the approval of her parents in fact her parents were against her dating a Dominican man and not until they saw and realized how much he cared about her and the things that he did for her. He went out of his way to actually make her his princess, his queen. That they realized, oh, he's a good man and he will look after our daughter. See, in Japan, they don't know anything about ladies first. It might be more a Western thing. In Japan, it's men first. And that's one thing that really amazed um, his wife. Let's call her Tomoko. So they got married with the parents approval and they got the first child everything is fine he kept his job and eventually he moved with his family to the united states 
where they today still live in a happily ever marriage and no complaints, right? Gio did something right here. He didn't go out and look for an Amadou. He based his relationship on stable things because easy come, easy go, right? Amadou's you can get easily, but you lose them fast too, right? He got a kosher girl. It took him two years of learning Japanese, learning the culture to actually get with her, right? And once he got with her, she didn't leave because she was a real woman, a Japanese woman, one of those women that you see that they are loyal, they're true to you, don't cheat, and they really love you for who you are, right? Second of all, Tomoko was smart enough to get the parents' approval, the friends and the parents, because over time, if you don't get the parents' and friends' approval, they will influence the girls, right? Because in Japan, it's more of a collective culture and what other people think matters. So she waited until she got the approval of the parents before she actually decided to actually get into a marriage with him, right? Lastly, what Gio did really well is he took her, after he made sure he got a good girl, he took her back to his country. Not that she, because that's where she enters his realm and his world, right? And that's why you can only be a man when you actually know your own world, really. In Japan, you don't know the code, you don't know the people, you don't know nothing, you don't know anything of just the small intricate details of the culture and you may be a little bit vulnerable. So he took her back to his country where where they started living a happy marriage, right? And that's what I would say, you know, don't be afraid to actually go to Japan and get yourself a wife or a girl, nothing else, but know who you're dating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. Um, this format, I'm trying a new format here because I'm getting a bit exhausted with the camera presence um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like and watch out for my book. Don't forget to share this video because a lot of a lot more content will be coming and I hope you share this video so a lot more people will see what life is really like, you know, before they actually get into a marriage.